Hi everyone, it's the Curse Captain here with my top five tips to help you and your crew dominate in the arena. One of the most important things to keep in mind is that to win the arena it's more about getting chests turned in than it is about sinking other ships. Yes, of course, sinking other ships is important, but if you want to win the round you will need to collect chests to do it. So if you're like me and have souls to collect, you could lose sight of collecting chests and instead go for those kills and sinking other ships. But it is a far better strategy to prioritize collecting chests. An extra tip here would be that you shouldn't be afraid to lose your ship if you can make up for it in silver. You lose a thousand silver when the ship goes down, but you gain a thousand for each chest you sell. So if you know that the other ship has a lot of treasure and is currently selling, maybe the best thing you can do is to have all of your crew jump off and take all of that beautiful treasure right from under their noses. This is an extremely important strategy. By watching the scoreboard, you can determine who has chests on their ship and who doesn't giving you the ability to target the ships who have some of those very important chests aboard. If you are in the lead, watching the scoreboard also helps you to know who to go after and prevent them from winning by targeting them and not allowing them to turn any chests in they may have. Silver is what you're after and in the arena you can get it a number of different ways. 100 silver for digging up a chest, 1000 silver for selling a chest, 5 silver for killing an enemy pirate, 25 silver for hitting an enemy ship with a cannonball, and negative 1000 silver lost when your ship sinks. A crew working together in their roles is a force to be reckoned with. Every crew member has a part to play to alert your crew of dangers on the seas and communication is the key. If you are not talking to each other about what is happening, then you quite possibly have already lost. Don't get so focused on digging up treasure that you forget to keep an eye out for other ships that may be on their way. On the map, you can see where everyone is at all times, so a great tip here would be to keep an eye on that map to see if any ships are heading towards you. And don't forget to watch out for boarders. There's nothing more dangerous than an enemy pirate boarding your ship. It's good practice to keep an ever watchful eye on those ladders and ear for those mermaid spawns trying to warn you that an enemy pirate is close. You can also hear pirates swimming when they grab the ladder. If you know that your whole crew is on the ship and you hear someone swimming, call out to your crew so that they are made aware of the potential boarder and make sure to go cover those ladders as quickly as you can. One of the most important new tools that you have is your harpoons on the front of your ship. You can use these in so many different ways, but probably the most important way you can use them is to quickly snatch up those chests from the shore or water, helping you cut down on that time it takes to load them up on your ship. The harpoon is a game changer in the arena, and mastering the harpoon to your advantage will give you and your crew the edge over all the other crews. Since time is the most important thing to keep an eye on, and remember you only have 24 minutes around, the harpoon saves you a ton of it. Not only that, but you can use it in ship to ship combat, help you make those sharp turns, and pretty much anything else in between. The new harpoons are an amazing addition to the game, and if used properly, can really make the difference in all those clutch moments. The most important thing you can do to be successful in the arena is to assign crew roles and communicate. Knowing what your responsibility is on the ship helps your crew work together and ultimately a crew that works together has a higher chance of winning. I like to break down my crew roles like this. Helmsman. The helmsman is in charge of steering and maneuvering the ship. During combat he never leaves the ship and calls out what needs to be done. 
Overall, his role is to keep the ship safe and away from harm's way. Bildrat. Bildrat is in charge of all of the repairs. Stays on the ship at all times during combat. Their first priority is bailing and repairs, and if they need help with bailing, they call out to the crew. They also help with cannons on the first initial encounter with another ship. A good Bildrat also knows when to fix a hole and when to simply bail to stay afloat. If they need help, it's their responsibility to let the crew know. Treasure Hunter. The role of this crew member is a lot like the first boarder, which I'll get to in a second. With the key differences being his main focus is digging up treasure and getting it back to the ship. In a combat situation, they may board the other ship if the first boarder needs help. But above all, this treasure hunter's goal is to seek out what treasure is buried on the islands and get it back to the crew. First boarder. This crew member is typically one who is eager for a fight. They are the first person to leave the ship to board another ship, and their priority is to get aboard, drop the anchor, kill pirates, and above all else, stay alive and cause a distraction. This allows for the second boarder to board and your ship to get critical hits below with the cannons. If the first boarder does his job properly, the enemy ship will stand no chance. I also want to mention that if you're not in combat, this crew member is helping the treasure hunter dig up and bring chests to the ship. Now that being said, with these roles set for your crew, you all still need to help each other out and use your best judgments. I talk a lot about situational awareness and you'll often hear me command the crew as the captain. I'm always asking questions, staying informed of what's going on and where, and keeping track of everything else that is going on in the battle. I have said this before, but remember, you don't always have to be the better shot or more skilled player. The best tool you have is the ability to read the situation at hand and make a good judgment call on what to do. Keep your enemy guessing and stay alert to the plans they may have for you. Well mates, those are my top tips for the arena. If you have some tips of your own, share them in the comments below and maybe, just maybe, I will make a community top tips video for the arena with all those tips in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me continue to create content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you out on the seas.